Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And I would like to take a moment uh, to thank all of my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for your support. And I know that 80% uh, of you guys who are watching this tutorial right now haven't subscribed my channel yet. So please do subscribe my channel. This will help me a lot and it also motivates me to create uh, this kind of contents. So if you are enjoying my contents, please do subscribe my channel. Again, it's a request. So with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard. So for that, press Ctrl and N. And I'll just go with the 4 by 5 inches, resolution to 300, color mode to RGB and let's keep the rest as default. And let's click on create. And right after that, let's drag and drop this uh, text, this big PNG right over here. And Ctrl T, let's make it a little bigger, maybe something like this size. All right, and now let's uh, turn that visibility off for now and let's create a rectangle. So, yep, something like that. Let's change the feel to kind of off-white and let's make a copy, Alt and drag, Alt and drag. this rectangle to kind of yellowish color yep Just maybe something like that and maybe one more right over here too let's give the same color and let's keep all of them inside a group so select all control G and let's rename it rectangle and let's make a one more copy control J and let's turn off the visibility for this one. Uh, I'm just uh, keeping it as a backup if in case we need it later, we can just use it. So now right click the group and let's submerge this group and let's keep it under this layer and let's turn that visibility on. And let's make it a little smaller, I guess. Yep, something like that. And let's control T, let's keep it right over here and let's change the perspective yeah let's keep it something like that and enter control t let's make it a little smaller i guess yep and let's keep it right over here now let's select the rectangle and let's go to the filter and let's apply a liquify and from here let's uh, click on that icon and let's make it a little smaller and let's keep on clicking yep something like that Yep. let's keep maybe let's keep it something like that and let's click on okay now let's uh, add a background layer so go over here add a solid and I'll just go with kind of this black and let's add a text and control T let's make it a little bigger yep something like that and now let's make a copy Control J and let's add a stroke and let's change the stroke size to maybe 3 and let's change the fill to 0 Control T let's move it a little down and now let's rasterize this layer and let's rasterize uh, the layer style too and Let's make a selection and just delete some of these parts. Control T. Let's move it a little down and then let's make a one more copy. Control J. And let's delete some of these parts too. Control T. And let's make a one more copy. Control J. And let's move it a little down. 
and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch and let's delete a little portion right over here now control G now let's uh, select all of these text control G let's keep it inside a group control T let's move it right over here and then let's add a skew just like so and maybe let's increase the size just a little bit and let's let's move it a little up yep just like so now let's uh, uh go over here let's make a copy Control j and let's keep this text above this text layer and let's add a stroke again maybe let's change the stroke size to two and let's drop down the fill to zero yeah just like so and then now let's create a new layer and let's control and click uh, this text layer to make a selection and let's go to the brush let's go for a kind of darker color and let's go with a general soft brush and let's add a shadow maybe right around here and maybe right around here yep just like that and let's drop down the opacity just a little bit Control g Let's. so this is what we have now let's add a new hue and saturation make that saturation to minus 100 and let's click on clip to layer so it, this will only affect this layer only so Control j let's make a copy and let's move this copy on top and let's create a layer max and again go to the brush and this time i'll just go with the hard brush and now let's erase everything except for the portion where there is a yellow color so make sure the color is black and then so you can use the pen tool or any other tool that you like but i'll just use a brush for now all right oh now let's move this layer above this one again control g let's make let's add a little rotation let's make it a little smaller yep maybe somewhere around here now let's add this texture let's keep it right over here and let's move it all the way to the top and control t let's make it smaller so that it just fits over here let's add a rotation let's change the blending mode to screen mm -hmm. all right now let's add a curve and let's make it a little darker and for the shadows just lift up the shadows just like that all right now let's do a simple color adjustment for uh, this uh, image so select this one and go to filter and let's go to the camera raw filter and let's add a little bit of clarity and let's dehaze just a little touch and let's add a texture too let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for this layer too select this one let's go to the filter and let's apply the same camera filter and let's go over here add apply previous setting and let's click on ok so now this is what we have and on the curve let's increase up yep let's keep it something like that and let's add some uh, details so go over here add a rectangle so 
I'll just add a simple rectangle and let's make a one more copy and let's make a one more copy and let's change this color to kind of gray stone and for this one let's change it to this yellow and control T let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it maybe right around here and let's add some other text details and now let's uh, go over here and let's make a copy of you know what like uh, for this event saturation make sure it's clip to layer so it will just affect the bottom layer and let's make a copy of this layer Control j Control t let's make it a little bigger and let's add a stroke again and i think like uh, pixel size 2 is good to me now let's click on ok and let's uh decrease the fill to zero and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch yep something like that and then let's add some text on the bottom too and for this text let's make it just a two lines and let's make a one more copy and let's keep it right over here and let's change the paragraph alignment to the left align and let's keep it maybe right around here Yep, now uh, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.